p.m. on CBS 2 News Saturday morning. Two and a half men actress Marin Hinkle takes the stage in a new off-Broadway play as she joins us live in our studio with all the details. I'm Cindy Shu. CBS This Morning Saturday continues in just a bit. This morning, two and a half men's Marin Hinkie stops by to talk about her new off-Broadway show. First, though, here's Vanessa Murdoch with your forecast. The snow is falling out there. Where if it happens? <laughs> All right, time now is 9:19. From two and a half men to New York City stage. Up next, a prescription for success. Marin Hinkle is here to tell us about her new show, RX, now playing off-Broadway. This is CBS 2 News Poor Saturday sweet morning. Man. <laughs> Looking. Live pictures from Riverhead in Suffolk County. Vanessa says, if it's going to snow, this is the kind of snow you want. It's going to cover a little of the grass. The roads ought to be okay. Though, be careful tonight if it refreezes. It's a new off-Broadway play that looks at the chemistry of love. Literally, you'll recognize one of the stars of the primary stage's play, Rx, from the hit CBS2, CBS show, Two and a Half Men. We welcome Maren Hinkle. Thanks for coming in. It's great to be here. All right, so uh, you play a woman who, Mina, correct, yes. who really doesn't like her job. I know that's rare. I'm sure <laughs> most everybody uh, can't relate. No, the truth is everybody that's seen the play says there's something in the play that touches them. And I would have to say I've never met someone that doesn't have a little depression in moments in their workplace. Right. So she's sad and finds that she could enlist in a drug trial and ends up falling in love with her doctor. Mm -hmm. And the confusion becomes, is it the doctor that is making her happy and the love there, or is it perhaps the pill she's taking? Hmm. Now, how do you compare the work on Broadway with doing a, an episodic series on, on television, a comedy like Two and a Half Men? Is there a crossover there? Yeah, you know, we do a Two and a Half Men in front of a studio audience, mm -hmm. and part of the joy that happens when you perform is the chemistry that the audience offers. Mm -hmm. And I'm lucky enough in this wonderful play, RX, at Primary Stages, to have the same feeling that without them, the chemistry would not live with the same kind of elation. You know, you yeah. really get high when your audience is laughing. Yeah. And the same thing is true in front of our audience for Two and a Half Men. And, and RX is getting good reviews, so evidently the audience is able to connect with the unhappiness at work kind of motif. That's true. I, I think that they walk in not quite sure and within the first few minutes you start realizing you're allowed to laugh and then it's this very buoyant experience. What's the, I, I mean, we don't want to rehash old news, but what, yeah. what has, has the mojo changed on Two and a Half Men? Is there, because I know that you went through a really difficult period where yeah. the family laundry was kind of being aired out in public. And that can't be easy. True. You know, I have to say, while we were on set through that time, um, before sort of some of the, the changes occurred, there was always a, a great time. You uh -huh. know, it was never a difficult har hardship. It was, it was something that ca came out in the press after. And it's still a great time there. It's just a different a a chemistry right now. Yeah. But um, Ashton's been wonderful. Charlie was wonderful. Uh -huh. I'm just blessed to have a job when I'm there, to be <laughs> honest. In this economy, it's a good thing to just go to work. Uh -huh. I'm lucky. Great. Well, we're lucky to have you this morning. Thank you so much Thanks. for coming in. RX is now playing at primary stages. For more information, head over to cbsnewyork.com, click on links and numbers. We're back in a minute.